So let's get a picture of these on the board. So negative one, one. That's gonna be important for defining x, right? And then uh, zero to two, that's also gonna be important for defining x. So let's see, x is going to be this closed rectangle right here, right? So this is our set x. Because notice the first coordinates take on the value from minus one to one, and the second coordinates take on the value from zero to two. Okay, and then let's look at y. So that's gonna be zero, two. So let's go ahead and put a two here and then negative one up to three. And then that's a, those are both open intervals. So let's put that as dotted lines or something, right? So that would be something like this. And then we're going to zero, so. Okay, so there is y. Okay, so something like that. So this is gonna get kind of messy, but I think this is like a decent, decent enough way to do it. I should have like made Y blue and then the overlap would be green. That'd be like, so there's X intercept Y, X intersect Y. So that's gonna be dotted right here, right? And then it's gonna be solid right here. And then it's shaded in like that. So that's the example of the intersection. The union, it kind of goes without saying, it's just everything that's shaded, right? You would just maybe turn off your color vision, right? See it in black and white, and then it would be everything that you see shaded in black and white. Okay, and then maybe, which one do you want to do? X minus Y or Y minus X? Yeah, so let's do Y minus X. So it's gonna be dotted here around the kind of what we would call the boundary. There's actually a precise definition for boundary that you would learn in a topology class. Doesn't that sound fun? And then does it include this stuff right here? It does, it does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because X, X does include these line segments. So since X does include it, we're taking away X, uh, Y minus X does not include it. So we got something like that. 